a very comfortable home here in USL. Absolutely, and I know he's got very high expectations for this team, and he knows that they can be above this playoff line, so I'm sure they're going to be excited to ride the ship here today. Miami in orange. That's a fantastic recovery run from Manny Agbo. I think the referee got that spot on. And now LaCava is in with a touch. LaCava takes a shot, tries to go through the wickets. It goes off of Sparrow and in. That is going to make the Miami side irate. They fell penalty on one side. They give up the counter the other way. I can go there. Jake LaCava makes no mistake, gets that opportunity. Connor Sparrow just can't quite parry it away. Gets a hand on it. You can see them learning those early lessons. Raffanello. Mitchell. So, feeling it into the waiting midsection of Sparrow. Out of the Indiana University program. Top of the 18 for Ballard gets it back. Marcucci closes the post down. Francois inside the 18 yard box. Castillo missing, and there's Marcucci. Got a hand on it, but it goes in for Miami FC. Othello Ba will level the match here at a goal aside. Transition moment here for Miami. Francois does so well to avoid the tackle. Finds Ba. Ba makes no mistake there. I think John Wolnex, is, he, you can tell he's furious down there. I mean, a couple opportunities in a row. Yeah, they've certainly been threatening though, and I think that's, the momentum has shifted here in this game. Given free passage, Miami, big save from Marcucci. Outside backs are being aggressive. Walker, second opportunity for Reed. He does a lot of things really, really well. I think he's a very good. So we'll poke wide left for Castillo. Castillo taking a shot, not off target by much. Just pulls up from deep. Martinez, great ball in for Forbes. Kicks off the woodwork. Puts one off the inside of the post, gets it back to his left foot. Bending ball in, headed out by Egbo. And these teams tonight will split the points.